Hey guys, Uncle Oz here. Now, you may have seen recently, there's rumors going around that I'm making some kind of comeback in Strongman. So I thought I'd do a little video explaining what I've got planned. Now, you all kind of know it. I train still, I love Strongman, I love coaching. I've got a lot of other commitments though these days uh, with my kind of, you know, obviously doing the YouTube, but my online coaching, I've got a few other business ventures that I'm focused on. So I have no interest in committing to try and be a full pro Strongman anymore. But I still train four times a week. And I think if you've been watching my videos recently from talking strongman shows to doing the different reviews on different events and stuff, you can see there's still a bit of a bug there. And obviously with things, with what happened at World's Strongest Man and picking up the injury, there was still a bit, a little bit of a, a bitter pill there. It's not kind of how I wanted to go out. So I've been kind of thinking things over, obviously training with training partners, talking to Auntie Liz and, and I just, I feel like I've got to prove to myself whether I can still do this or not. So I've entered the um, Giants Live England Strongest Man this year. It's taking place at the Fit Expo in, well, it's taking place in April as it stands. Obviously, this is all subject to change this year, but I needed a focus and a goal for myself. So I thought I'd enter the online qualifier just as a bit of fun to sort of push some of my training partners. If you've seen some of the videos with Jack, there's um, Jack, he's entered, there's Nick, there's a few others. Some of my clients are also doing it. And I felt like, firstly, I'd be a good sparring partner for them, something for them to aim for, uh, to try and beat. And also, this is a way for me to test whether I'm still good enough. I didn't want to just go straight into a Giants live show based on reputation. I'm, I don't know if I'm the same strong man that I was a few years ago. Obviously, I've suffered a number of injuries. I'm older now and I'm taking things a lot more, um, I'm not taking the training side of things as seriously as I used to. So now it's a lot more business focused, but I still love training and I want to see what I'm capable of. So we've got about four months to train for this show. It gives me focus. It'll make me be disciplined with my food. It'll make me train a little bit harder and I'm kind of excited to see whether I can still do what I once did. Now, as it stands, the events aren't bad for me if I was 100%, but I've not been able to do things like yokes and farmer's walks. Even my overhead and push pressing is still suffering from when I tore my Achilles. It's, it's a fun challenge for me. That's, that's all it is. So, so kind of don't expect me to be kind of going back to world's strongest man or anything like that. I, I, but I, the, a, a part of me still wants to get to maybe a one day show. I'd love to do a live Giants live show in front of a big crowd one more time as as a kind of way to finish off my career. And I think rather than just stepping in there and sort of doing it based on reputation, I really want to prove that I'm still good enough. So all the guys that are competing at this England Strongest Man, a lot of new youngsters that are up and coming, it gives them an opportunity to beat an old has-been but I don't think I'm going to be the easiest guy in the world to be. I'm still dangerous. I believe I can still get myself in, in pretty good shape. And the events aren't bad for me as well. So I'm looking forward to it. It's just, it's giving me a bit of a spark. It's making me push my training partners. Like you, if you've seen young Jack, who's just getting better and better, it means we can train for the same competition together. We can really push each other and I can bring you guys along for the ride. You can sort of see what kind of shape I'm in now and how I progress over the next few months. And, you know, we'll look at diet, we'll look at training, we'll look at recovery type of um, methods that I use to try and make sure my body's as good as possible. I'm incorporating a lot of new training methods and some that I, some much older methods that I used early on in my career to try and help get that athleticism back, try and get the ankle, the, the Achilles firing again, That's that's been a big challenge. That, that for me is gonna be the big one. But I'm, you know, win, lose or draw, I'm just excited to do it. I think Uncle Oz having another crack at Strongman, I still, I still believe I'm good enough. And I know a lot of people say that, but I've got to prove it to myself. And that's why I'm doing this show rather than just jumping in against the elite guys in the world. I've got to prove to myself first that I belong at that level. If I can win this show, then I will look at hopefully doing an even higher level competition against the best in the world. One more time, trying to prove that I'm still good enough. You guys are more than welcome to come on the journey with me. Uh, I know there's gonna be some people saying, sit down, you know, you, you, you passed it. Um, 
it really doesn't matter what people say to you. You've got to kind of do what makes you happy. I see guys like Terry Hollands, Mark Felix, Nick Best, Zadronus, you know, these older guys that are still competing and still enjoying it. I still love Strongman. I'm just a very competitive person. And I think that's why I want to test myself and do this England show first. I want to prove I'm still good enough. And it's, it's going to be fun because a lot of these youngsters are they're already giving me crap about competing, telling me they're going to beat me or do this or that. So it's going to be a fun few months. There's going to be lots of banter. And at the end of the day, I know what I'm capable of. So they're going to have to raise their game. I've done the qualifier. I've done a hundred and sorry. I've done a 363 kilo deadlift. I've done 170 kilo farmer's walk. I had to do 20 meters. I did that with two weeks training farmer's walk. Um, and my grip, felt, honestly, I felt like I could do 200. It, it, it didn't feel that hard. And I totally messed up the pickup. It uh, kind of hooked onto my shorts. I totally messed that up. It's just whether I can get the foot speed back. That's going to be the issue. The grip feels absolutely fine. The pickup didn't feel like an issue. The log, I did 131 kilos for five reps. So that's the three events for the qualifier. And all I need to be is be in the top 20. Currently, I'm in second place, but there'll be a lot more people that enter. But as long as I get in that top 20 position, I will make sure by April, I'm 100% ready. And for those that are gonna, compete, are gonna be competing in the show, bring your best, I'm gonna be ready for you. So the competition is at the Fit Expo exhibition, which is supposed to take place on the 10th and 11th of April. As it stands, it's going ahead. Obviously, there's gonna be subject to change this, this year. There's so many unknowns, but, I needed a goal, so I've, I've, I've got my name down to it. Um, I'm hoping it, it all goes ahead. Even if it is pushed back, at least that'll just give me more time to get in better shape. But I'll keep you guys up to date with what's happening. And I'm I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited for it. It doesn't mean I'm not doing any of the, the kind of um, Big Laws official stuff. I'll still be doing the Talking Strongman, still be doing all the other shows, still be doing commentary on, on other Strongman shows. But it's just, this is just for me. It's just that inner child that just wants to keep kind of pushing and, and believing that you can still do something. He had a big dream of many, many years ago. I've achieved countless things in the sport, but I'm still excited when I, when I watch and I, 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 wanna, I wanna prove I can still do it. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.